Hey there friends, Martin here and today I'd like to mention a software that I haven't talked about in quite some time. However, I keep using it in my everyday work and of course it's Reillusion's iClone 8 and I think it's quite safe to say that it is the tool that allowed me to animate all the characters for my Heroes of Bronze short film project without actually knowing how to animate. However, today I'd like to mention a few of those amazing tools that iClone 8 offers and that I simply cannot do without these days. A uh, quick heads up before we start, Reillusion is currently organizing a super interesting contest where I happen to be one of the judges and this is important, in the duration of this contest you can try out their software for free to create your own entry. So if you ever wanted to give these tools a go, now is your perfect chance. The contest is already running and you can choose from several categories to compete in and it ends on August 21, so quite enough time to learn the tools and create something awesome. For anyone wanting to learn my CC plus iClone workflow step by step, I've created a free introductory series which you can watch here on my channel. Otherwise, if you're still undecided, maybe this video will sway your mind. So here goes my five favorite features of iClone 8. One of the recent updates to Character Creator and iClone implemented a functionality that adds so much to the final look of your characters. It is the new wrinkle system and the difference in the way the facial animations looked previously and how they look now is pretty significant. And the best thing is, the whole thing runs smoothly in the background of your animations. It is built into the newer iClone characters and all you need to do to activate it for your actors from the older versions is to simply go here and apply a wrinkle profile. Usually I just apply the default one or experiment with different templates available and see which gives me the best results. Through the iClone Live Face tool I have animated all the faces of the characters in Heroes of Bronze short film. Significant strides forward have been made by the developers though and nowadays there is this new AccuFace tool. It is fairly easy to set up, you basically just need a regular camera that you stream to your computer or alternatively a video capture of your face performing the animation you want, which is the option I'm choosing here. It is best to record some basic expressions to calibrate the animation, but once you do, it all works fairly easy just as you are used to from the live face tool. So you just connect the two interfaces up here, set up the connection to your actor and then preview or record the animations on the face of the digital character. Very cool! Speaking of facial animations, I also love the Eculypse tool, an associated editor that allows you to load in a sound or even a text and based on the input iClone generates lip animations onto your timeline, which you can change and retime at will. This is probably the most intuitive lip sync tool I've ever worked with, and it's super easy and fast to really polish the timing of the various phonemes. In combination with Live Face, this tool really gives you superpowers for facial animation. There are also the awesome cleanup tools. I'm a long time user of Rococo Suit and without it I would never be able to finish the Heroes of Bronze short film. However, one issue of the Mark 1 suit, and to some extent the Mark 2 as well, is the slight sliding and jittering when you record intense movement. That's however where the iClone's 8 cleanup tools regularly save me. You can just select your recorded mocap clip find this motion correction menu and then specify what sort of motion you're cleaning up. There's normal standing and fast standing, then some turns and also option for the hands. Choose whichever is closest to your animation and hit correct. Then watch what it does. It glues the feet or the hands to a specific place in space and it holds them there until you decide to release them in this timeline tool. For example, when they're jumping or they make a step. And of course, you can change the placement of this anchor point at any time. Really handy for ensuring that your characters stick to a concrete spot. Mixing of animations is great fun in iClone, especially since it's non-destructive and quite intuitive. You just take your animation clip and with it selected, you go to this animation layer menu where you can create a new layer on top of the base one. And then using the edit motion interface, add any sort of change to the pose. 
Once you're done, you then play the animation and see, the new pose is now mixed in on top of everything and you can always edit this slider here to activate or deactivate the overlay or mix it in only at a certain percentage. And by the way, this slider is also keyable so you can mix in the layer in time and then gradually deactivate it again. This way you can add any number of layers and quickly iterate your animations. There is so much more to iClone with all its capturing, polishing, retargeting and editing tools. And I haven't even properly implemented their motion director and crowd tools yet. Yep, along with the Rococo mocap suit, this is still one of the best tools I've ever invested in. So yeah, I cannot recommend the character creator and iClone combo enough. And if you want to jump in, now is the perfect time to do it with the contest I mentioned at the beginning. Give it a try. It's awesome. Until next time, stay creative, my friends. Martin out.